I'm definitely terrified of coming back with ass worms and a rash. Oh yeah, because of the food and the flies and just how dirty a lot of the things are. Wow, so because she's going to Nigeria, she expects me coming back with some sort of diseases or whatever. What a great start. Hmm. That tells me everything that I need to know about this woman and her judgmental self. The woman that believes in aliens and stuff. But hey ho, we just continue. And, um, you know me? Huh? You know me? I like Mr. Joe. You are not so nice. You are perfect. <laughs> Thank perfect. you. She created in my mental states was different from what I see right before me. A perfect description of beauty. Yeah. I, I'm not really buying it to be honest with you. Like the first thing he says is like, yeah, you're big. He's touching her saying you're big. Yeah, you're big. Yeah. And then he proceeds to talk about how you're not slim. And then also you told me something completely different about who you are, or at least how you look. And then you come here and you're actually perfect. That doesn't make sense. Because here's the thing. The description that he that she would have given him is a description that he would have obviously fallen for. The description that he would have imagined and the description he'd have been like, yes, I like this description. It sounds good for me, something that I know I'm gonna like. But then to sit there and then tell us that despite the fact that she gave you a whole different description, what she is instead is actually perfect. So what was she before then? So the description she gave you before, was that not perfect for you? I'm just saying, I've got a question that. Because this guy is very slick with the words. Very slick with the words. When she was like, are you sure you can't see me? He was like, I can see you. I can see you with my heart. So what? was this little, this smooth criminal. And you know, you know Nigerian men are known for their love bombing, right? This guy's got the love bombing on to, to a T. <laughs> He's got the words. Mm. Honestly, when he dropped that line, I can see you. I can see you with my heart. I was like, yeah, this mofo right here. <laughs> I wonder how many times he's used that line. <laughs> Smooth, slick criminal. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see this season, obviously, with these two, to be honest with you, you know. Uh, I mean, they've already been going back and forth on social media anyway. Uh, so, yeah, let's just say that. But nonetheless, though, let's continue with the man that claims that she is the perfect shape, despite the fact that she gave him a different image of what she looked like, which would have been the perfect shape then. And the man with all the right words. I see you with my heart. <laughs> Thank you. I believe it should be done at the right time. I think on the same day with you and in the same room with you. Hope you understand. <laughs> you can see the rage in her eyes. You can see it. She's like, huh? I traveled all this way after all these time that we've been talking and you're telling me that I can't even spend time with you on the first night? Do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Kimberly and Usman, you know, on their first ever season. And she's booked the freaking honeymoon suite and uh, Usman's like, no, I'm staying in my own room. That was peak. And you, we saw, we saw how that was, that was her and Kimberly at the time. We saw that yeah she was she played it off cool but you can see she was like oh okay no worries i'll get you in that room don't you worry and then of course she finally did get him in the room but remember when he put the bridge in the middle he put the pillows in the middle and said yes i'll sleep this side you sleep that side oh my goodness that season was so insulting ah damn either way though rain has been given the same flavor here the same flavor <laughs> I, I don't know if this makes it worse, but I know his reasons. Obviously, Usman had his reasons, which I still don't believe the reasons he gave us personally. The reasons he gave us, in my opinion, was not the truth. I just think that he just was not attracted to Kimberly, and that was just that. And he just did not want to say it because he wanted to string along until he got whatever he, whatever he wanted, which I believe he didn't get an end because, well, he's still in Nigeria, right? Now, with that being said, now, with this young lady here, Oh boy, this is going to burn even more because the only thing that's running through her mind is that so not even a blind man wants to like sleep next to me. What the hell was going on here? Like, am I that bad? I'm just saying, but let's play and you understand why I think that's, that's what she thinks. I'm saying point clear to you. Even as I sleep on that bed, my spirit, my thought is still with you. Mr. Smooth Criminal! Smooth Criminal! Look at this guy! He tells her, I'm not sleeping next to you, but your spirit! 
your spirit, your soul, your everything is still with me in the other room. Yeah, that's the problem. It's in the other room. I don't want my spirit with you in the other room. I want it with you here with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> this guy with the smooth words, love bombing. Uh, he's a true Nigerian. This guy right here, <laughs> the love bombing is real. I gotta say, this is probably this is probably the most lethal brother I've seen on the show so far with his words. Because mm. <laughs> does he not think that what he's saying is gonna want her to want him more? Does he not think that what he's saying is gonna is gonna drive her crazy even more? <laughs> My guy, let's continue. Man, I feel totally rejected. 7,000 miles and five and a half years later and he's putting two doors between us. That hurts. That That's like stabbing me in the heart. And this is why I said what I said about how she's taking out, she's feeling it. Because remember, for last week's episode, the first episode, she was boasting about the fact that because he's blind, it's easy for her. You know, because he's blind, therefore, it, therefore she doesn't have to be um, insecure because she's an insecure person anyway. And she said him being blind is what basically made her want him more. Because therefore she wouldn't have to worry too much about how she looks. When she got off the plane, girl was sweating and everything. And she was like, oh God, thank God he cannot see me. She's riding on the fact that he can't see her too. She's riding on the fact that he cannot see her. And it gives her hope that this is going to work. Because clearly she's been in relationships in the past. Where people have obviously made some type of comments about her appearance. And therefore these appearances are now traumatized within her. So for this to happen, oh boy. I can't imagine how much that hurts, how much that cuts deep. My man is out here telling me all these romantic things, giving me all this love bombing, but he doesn't even want to be next to me on the first night. Do I smell? Was it the greasy hair? What's going on here? Am I that bad? Honestly, he may know how to war, he may know how to war a woman with his words, but he also knows how to make them feel less than at the same time. <laughs> That's a dangerous dude right there. <laughs> but here's the thing though, the real quick conversation is this. The fact that he did not tell her this before she flew is hella disrespectful. The fact that he did not tell her before she flew is hella wild. Honestly, he's not he's not he's not nice for that. That was a that was definitely a douche move. I wanted to say a different word, but yeah, it's YouTube. Yeah, that, that that's definitely a douche, douche thing to do. So to be honest, I don't blame him feeling the way he's feeling because honestly, you don't tell someone who's flew that long and waited for that long to see you that when they come and see you, you tell them before they even arrive. You say to them, listen, before you fly, I just want to let you know, I don't want us to be sleeping in the same bed. I want us to be da 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 da. But the fact that he didn't even tell her this stuff before she arrived, and then he tells her now she's here. She's thinking, I wonder if this is really the truth, if this really was the plan. Or was it because when he met me, I just didn't smell right. When he met me and he touched my hair and he realized how sweaty it was. Or is it because when he touched me, he realized that I was actually bigger than what I said. Maybe he doesn't like me now. Maybe he was lying about my stature. Oh my goodness. Am I really that? Just, whew. Like I said, this guy's a dangerous dude. He's got the words to war a woman, but he's also got the actions to destroy a woman. Whoo! Damn, and I wonder why she ends up going crazy around this guy. <laughs> he's not a nice dude, to be honest with you, because what he's done, pff, dangerous. Now, ladies, tell me this right now. If you were in her position and he did this to you, how would you feel? If you tell me that you give him the benefit of the doubt, ah, oh, you're lying, <laughs> because you just don't like her. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> we don't want another Angela Merkel situation where we hate the woman so bad we're blind to what the to what the man is doing wrong. You know what I mean? Let's get into it. I'm hoping he just needs some time to adjust to me being around, because I didn't come all the way over here just for me to be alone. Nah. Man had the audacity to even say good night. <laughs> Listen, and the fact that she's now got hope for thinking that he's going to change his mind is wild. Because I mean, I don't blame her. She should, of course, be thinking that. Why shouldn't she be thinking that? Because it's not like this man warned her before this. It's not like they had a conversation about his beliefs and what he believes that he should be doing for himself. He kept it withheld and dropped it like it's hot when she arrived. I do feel sorry for her in this situation, to be honest, with you, because honestly, if anyone, anyone out here who struggles with, um, with self-esteem, you know, with, with confidence, you know, or even has maybe any kind of body paranoia, dysmorphia, or whatnot. You will know how much 
what he did, he would have cut deep. And people, if anybody say, oh, no, you're being too, you're being a bit too dramatic, da 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 well, guess what? If you're the person in the situation and you're, and you got the insecurity that she has, believe me, what I'm saying isn't dramatic enough. I'm not even close. Yeah, this guy knows how to demoralize a woman, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Nonetheless, Mr. Love Bomber, but at the same time, Mr. Uh, Soul Crusher. <laughs> Hopefully you do better. Nonetheless, though, that's just my thoughts, that's just my opinion, even though I feel like it's factual, but you know, it is what it is. You guys, let me know what you're thinking down below, and uh, we'll talk about it. And yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.